What is up, guys? What is, I should say, what's really hood? <laughs> Which, by the way, I love it when other people talk about my videos and they're like, yeah, I was watching the Mega Dance, what's really hood? <laughs> it's really funny to hear other people say it. <laughs> what's really hood? <laughs> And then back in the day, David Gamer, he left a comment saying, you're not hood. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a play on the word. It's it's funny. I think it's funny that people say that. There are people that really do say, instead of, what's really good, man? They say, what's really hood? <laughs> Super funny. And that's kind of where it came from. I just think it's funny, so I just started saying it. <laughs> now my whole family says it. Nathan says it, everything. He'll be like, hey, Dad, it's not good. It's hood. <laughs> Anyways, what have I been up to? What have I been doing? What have I been playing? That's what you're here for, right? Uh, played through Star Wars Famicom. I beat it on novice mission. But, you know, we're not novice boys here on this channel. We are pro boys. So I'm going to work on beating the pro mission. But now I know what to do. I want to be on novice because I want to know if there was any more mazes I needed to know about. So now I'm going to beat it on pro. Like a real man. <laughs> but uh, anyway. Um, I played through Silkworm. Still haven't posted that up. Uh, I was working on my YouTube a couple days ago. I have a lot of uploads that are going to come out. Because there was many streams where I beat multiple games. And what I do is I, I, I make them all their own video so that somebody who could benefit from seeing me play something or wants to see me play through something, it's all just right there, you know? So I got to do that. I have a lot of those videos, a lot. Because um, it just, I haven't worked on it for a long time. Um, other than that, what have I been playing? Um... I beat Gremlins 2 on the Game Boy. I got that. And I beat that. And I have to just upload it. And make a thumbnail and all that stuff. I was going to work on this stuff last night when I got home. But, uh, Basically, I had to clean up a lot of stuff when I got home. The house was just kind of a mess. So, I had to stop what I was doing. I popped up, on a, I popped up a YouTube video and just started going to work and... I do laundry and dishes and vacuum and all that stuff. Clean up around the house, take the garbage out. And then before you know it, it's too late to play video games or stream or do anything. So that's how it goes. But uh, other than that, um, video game wise, I think that's all. I did play some SmackDown. Here comes the pain. I just tried it. A lot of fun. I had a great time with it. Uh, just did a couple matches. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that on the channel or not. If you're interested in that, I could do a season of Here Comes the Pain. Um, definitely wanted to play it. If, if not, I'm going to be doing it offline or something. Uh, I've been in the mood to play a sports game. I know everybody's asking for Ken Griffey. I still need to get that battery and fix the hack one. Because I feel like if we play Ken Griffey, I have to play that hacked version, dude. You know, the one with all the all-time star all -time teams on it. I feel like I have to do that, you know. But, um, anyway, we'll figure it out. But otherwise, I was thinking about Tecmo NBA Basketball. We never did finish NBA Give and Go. Uh, very easy game, but, you know, I've never seen the end of it, so I kind of wanted to beat it. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um... Yeah, other than that, what have I been watching on YouTube? I have been binge watching and uh, overly obsessed in watching My Retro Life with Tyler Esposito. Really, really cool videos that bring out the heart and the emotion and the passion that I have for retro gaming. I mean... What he's doing with his dad in those videos is exactly, it's funny, what I do with Nathan. Me and Nathan just beat Mick Kids the other day, two-player. That was fun. I know you guys seen the Grimace video come up. I was going to record us beating the game, but Nathan was in his underwear, so I couldn't post it. So I have the video, but I can't post it because he's in his freaking underwear because that's how he games. But, um... 
yeah, we beat Mick Kitts, two-player. Um, he beat a lot of levels, too. I didn't do it all, that's for sure. I didn't. Actually, we did about the same. I probably, I did a little bit more towards the end, but I, he did pretty good, man. He was kicking butt. But he told me, hey, Dad, I want to beat this game. And so I was like, all right, man, we're going to we're gonna play this. Strap in. It's a longer game. So uh, it took us a while, but we got it. We got it. We used my playthrough to find some cards we couldn't find. So I had played through the game on my channel before. Um, so we did it just like my retro life, how we'd follow Manny's videos. I just followed my own video. Because <laughs> it had been a while since I played it, so I forgot. Mick Kids is a good game, by the way, guys. It's a fun game. It's real fun. Should have passwords, though. That's the only thing about it. Saves or passwords. Just like Mario 3. Should have password. Something. At least a password before every world or something. Because, man, if you play those games legitimately, you got to beat a lot of freaking levels, man. But, um, anyway... Yeah, so that's what I've been watching, though. I mean, that's about all I've been watching. I mean, it's so good. If you have not checked out My Retro Life and really dove in, I mean, it don't get no better than that. I think he's, like, the best channel. I mean, it don't get no better than that, dude. I mean, you're seeing tapes upon tapes upon tapes of real footage of how it was like. And, and, I, and I'll go ahead and transition here into... I didn't make my response video for CM Retro's video to mine. I was going to further explain some of that, so I'll do it now. But I wanted to try really hard to not, like, I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to make anybody upset with the things I say. But the way that I play games is very specific. And I, I can't tell you enough how passionate I am about retro games. I, I, I don't think anybody understands. Only me and my own brain. I, I don't think, I, I don't think anybody is on the level of passionate that I am. I would, I would challenge anybody. I would challenge anybody. And that's not to sound mean, but what I'm telling you is how much I care, how much I care about it, how, how much I'll never let it go. And I'll never, I'll never stop doing it. I, I you just don't understand that that era is a part of my life, a very important part of my life, having to do with my dad, having to do with friends, and then just the video games. That era of how important Nintendo was, and how important Sega Genesis was, and how everything was, and how awesome everything was. Nintendo Powers, Electronic Gaming Monthlies, the beginning of PlayStation, PlayStation 2. All that is so important that that'll never leave my mind. So when somebody I feel like is attacking that, it kind of gets me going a little bit because it's like, eh, wait a second, you know what I mean? And so I'll tell how I, why did I make the rant? And, and I don't want to say the YouTuber's name. He's right. CM Retro said that because I don't want anything negative to come about this. I don't want somebody to get attacked or somebody go talk crap to him or something. That's not what I want. So I made the video. Um, I wasn't... CM Retro thought I watched somebody play Simon's Quest. No, that's not. That's not what happened. This guy, this person, was making a tier list about Nintendo games and about retro games. And he was kinda, it was, I don't think he meant to. He made a lot of really great points. And I think he was younger. This guy's probably 27, 26 or something like that. And maybe a little older, I'm not sure. But I don't know who he is and neither do you. He's not somebody like it's in our community that's around, okay? Matter of fact, I think he's a speed runner or something over on Twitch. But he came out with a video, and he was tier listing all this stuff, and just the way that he was kind of nonchalantly talking about some of these games was so like 2023. <laughs> and what I mean by that is everything's easier now, man, because you're using the tools of today. And listen to me here, follow me here. When you're watching something like My Retro Life, 
they were playing it back then when they didn't have any of these tools to look up where to go, what to do. They didn't have a hundred people in a stream telling them what to do or even five or six. They had kids around them and that is it. And then whatever was in a Nintendo Power, if you were even subscribed to Nintendo Power, because not every kid was. And, and that is all you had. You did not have all of this help that you have today. Uh, let alone just playthrough after playthrough after playthrough of online stuff, of watching somebody beat Battletoads, playing Ghosts and Goblins and seeing where all the armor is. When you were a kid, you didn't know that, though, dude. There was no way of knowing that. No way. You know, you better hope it comes on an episode of Video Power or something, dude. And you better hope you're up watching it. And then you better hope you wrote it down or you recorded it somehow on your VHS tapes, which barely anybody did. It was a different time. So to talk like so nonchalant, oh, this wasn't even that hard. I beat this the first time I played it. It's like man, you're really like slapping NES hard in the face. And it's like, you just don't get it though, man. You weren't around back then or you didn't play him back then because I don't know his age exactly to understand the struggle in these games, man. You don't get it. You didn't just type into your phone real quick, um, Ghosts and Goblins long play and then you could just watch somebody and how they beat a boss. And don't act like you ain't doing that. Don't act like you ain't ever done that. Don't. You know, not to mention save states. Not to mention rewind. I mean, that that all is ridiculous help. Ridiculous help, dude. That takes away from that difficulty. You know, you're acting like it's not that hard, but yes, it is. When you're training with a save state, if you're having trouble on a boss... And you could just keep save stating it and keep practicing the boss. You're cheating <laughs> because you can't do. Back then, you could not do that, you know. So to say it's not that hard, bullshit. How many times did you save state and practice that? It's it's really hard, dude. It's just after a hundred times, you you're good at it now. You know what I mean? But if you would have done it legitimately with a CRT, and you have to start over if you want to practice that boss five hundred times. You're going to have to get there 500 times. And and then everybody comes with the excuses of, well, I don't have time. Listen, nothing mattered back then. That was the way you had to do it. Who gives a fuck about your time? You know what I mean? Your dad didn't have time back then either. But guess what? He had to fucking keep doing it, didn't he? So it's different. It was a harder challenge. So to talk nonchalantly like this stuff is so easy, you have to correctly say... Otherwise, it's like disrespectful and say, well, because of the tools of today, these games are not that hard, but I can see how this is hard back then. Like, don't act like Bayou Billy isn't hard, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's a hard fucking game. You know what I mean? Don't act like it's just this easy thing that everybody was beating back then. No, dude, that's not the case. So that's what kind of got me going, if you will. Um, and it didn't, didn't piss me off. It just, people just don't get it. You don't get it if you weren't there. And you don't get it if you weren't in it, in it like how I was. And how a lot of other passionate people are. These are not easy. <laughs> you know, we make it look easy. Because you're watching our, our no death run. Or you're watching my long play. I'm making it look real easy. It's not, dude first time playing that shit, it's going to whoop your ass. You play Ninja Turtles NES for the first time, it's going to beat your ass. But if you watch everybody and where to go and what to get, and what, oh, get the scrolls. Oh, go here and get pizza. Go here to get your guy that's captured. It's easy then. It's easy then. You know what I mean? Fuck, you're, you're taking more than half of the challenge away. You know what I mean? Not let alone save states. I mean, that's you're completely taking the challenge away then. You know, you're just... That's that's just straight up cheating. You know what I mean? Straight up. You know? Um, and, and then there was like... I know, I think, uh, Dad Level Podcast said in the, in the comments um, that I, people can play games however they want. Yet, let me, let me make this clear. I don't care how people play games. That's not the problem. I don't care. 
you can do whatever you want, but it's like it's like using save states and everything, and then going around and saying, <laughs> man, Battletoads is actually pretty easy. But if you're using save states, of course it's easy. Of course it's easy. <laughs> if you're on the Clinger Winger, and you're fucking saving it after every fucking time you take a turn, of course it's easy, dude. You're, 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 and before every big jump or before every boss, you're doing a save state. Well, yeah, pretty easy then, you know, but how about dying and going back to the beginning like you're supposed to, playing by the rules, you know, how, how about that? Yeah, it's easy, it'd be easy to be in the major leagues too, guys, if I had 20 strikes, okay, and I wasn't playing by the rules, and, and every time I went up to bat, one ball I walk, and I get 20 strikes, so I can swing and miss 20 times. It, being in the major leagues would be pretty easy. You know what I mean? So it's it's like you're you're literally taking the challenge and you're changing it. You're giving yourself unlimited lives. You're you're changing it. You're making it easy. Of course it's easy. So that that's where I'm at with it. You could do whatever you want, but you gotta have that respect for it. Like Tyler said in My Retro Life that he beat Ninja Turtles as a kid, or not as a kid, but when he got older with emulators, with a save state, but he said, I've never done it legitimately, though. So he has that respect for it, that I can't do it legitimately, though. I I, I cheated. He didn't say cheated, but what do you call it, then? You cheated. You know what I mean? And if you want to use Game Genie and stuff back then, so be it. But you didn't really beat it if you have unlimited lives and shit, dude. You know what I mean? It's not the same. Don't go up to Manny on My Retro Life and say that you beat Ninja Turtles when you're using Game Genie and have unlimited lives. You know, it, 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 come on. A save state's no different than that. You're just giving yourself unlimited time. And I know everybody's excuse is, well, I don't have time. I think that's BS, but fair enough. I don't live your life. You know what I mean? Everybody has 24 hours, and I'm really busy, man. It's what, what do you make time for, though? You know, it's like somebody saying, I can't lose weight. Well, what do you make time for? Are you making enough time to lose weight? Are you working out? Are you watching what you eat? Or are you being kind of reckless? Well, I take gaming very serious. I make time for it. I make time for it because it's very important to me. Because it's a part of me. It's a passion of mine. And I, completing games is something I want to do. So, so I make time for it. So if I had to hurry up and mow the lawn or something, I do it. If I gotta hurry up and clean the house, I do it. And then I until so I can get to my games. You know? For sure. Absolutely. You know? Um, and you gotta learn how to manage your time. We all have 24 hours. Nobody has more time than the next person. You know, everybody works for the most part, right? We work probably about the same amount of hours, 40 hours a week or so. Everybody's gotta make time. You know? But you make time for what's important, dude. If you wanna make time to watch The Walking Dead for three hours of your weekend, that was three hours you could have been gaming. Everybody's got 24 hours, you know? So it's like, I don't know, I feel like that's a dumb excuse, you know? But I'm not trying to, like, rattle any, you know, anybody's cage here. I'm not trying to piss anybody off, but I'm telling you that's why I made the video. I'm telling you that I'm very passionate about it. I'm telling you that I very much care about the, the, the hobby, I love the hobby. I care about the hobby. So when people kind of, in my opinion, degrade it or they come at it sideways like that, like, oh, this is this is dumb or this is this is easy. That's one of the biggest things is bullshit, it's easy. You're talking about some of the hardest games ever made and you're saying it's easy. You're saying Sil Silver Surfer's not that hard. I mean, come on, man. Yes, it is. It, 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 not not once you've played it a million times, but when you first pop that fucker in, that is not easy, bro. Stop. You know, it's like you're trying to look like a badass, and I don't know why. You know, just call it for what it is, man. Give it the respect, you know. Ninja Gaiden is not easy, bro. It's not. I can make it look easy now. You're going to watch me play and go, holy shit. But because I've poured in hours to one of my favorite games... I can shit all over Contra because I've put in countless hours on it because I love the game, you know? So it's like, but it's not easy. 
It's not easy when you're putting in your nine live code. Oh, it's not that hard. Well, you have nine lives, bro. You're cheating. You know what I mean? You're, you're giving yourself 20 strikes. You know, it's it's you're, you're, you're changing the rules, man. You're changing the rules. And if you want to play that way, that's fine. But acknowledge that you're doing that. Acknowledge that you're doing that, man. Stop acting like it's nothing when you're fucking with stuff. And, and this kid, this kid didn't do that. He wasn't cheating. But he has... What the hell? This guy's behind me going crazy. But this guy, uh... Brother, I cannot switch lanes. <laughs> this guy's going crazy behind me. But I am, like, stuck behind people. I can't do anything. But, uh... hell is this guy doing? He must have an emergency. Well, fuck, I can't move. Now he just went another lane. Sorry. What the hell is this guy doing? But, uh, people are crazy, man. Going like 90 miles per hour and this dude's over here fucking around. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, bad driver ruined it. But, anyway, um, I would edit that out. But, um, yeah, that that's where I came across with it. But everybody can play how they want to play. But this kid had, like, a big following and, dude, he has, like, 50, 60, 70 people watching him, and they're all helping him. It's like, yeah, that's that's pretty easy when you're playing some game. Let's just say I'm playing Star Wars Famicom, and I'm on the Death Star, and everybody's telling me where to go. It's a maze, dude. If you're playing Metroid, and everybody's going to tell you where the stuff's at, I mean, it's easy. You know what I mean? Now that dude's getting honked at by a semi. That was really nice. You're going to start a great accident, brother. Some people have no fucks given. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, man, that that's where it came from. But I didn't want to rattle anybody's cage, and I didn't want to, you know, in my other, my first response, I, I brought up some people, and, you know, in the nicest way possible, and I'll keep this short and sweet. There's times I, when you guys, you can play how you want, but you wonder why I've gotten criticism in the past for Mega Dan never comes to my streams. Well, this certain person that was saying this and kind of talking crap behind my back, which is whatever, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do. It doesn't bother me. But there was a reason for it, brother. And because you're using save states, because you're putting in the Konami code. I'm sorry. It's it, it's not fun to watch. I, it, it's boring. You know, if, if I'm going to watch somebody save state everything, it's boring. It's just not something I want to spend my time doing. You know, I want to watch somebody take on the game for real. And that's just my personal preference with how I like to watch YouTube and how I like to watch streams. It's no, people can do whatever they want, but what you're doing is going to affect if I'm there. If you care so much about me being there, then I guess don't do that because I won't watch it, man. I'm sorry. I, you know, it's not to... It's not to be rude. It's just, that's what I like to watch. I don't like to watch cheaters, you know? Um, I like to watch people grind the game out, try to get through it, power through it. I just watched Phil Twerpin the other day play Life Force, and Phil Twerpin was dying, couldn't even get past the second level. But to me, it was fun to watch him try and try and try and try and try. It was fun to me. I, I thought it was great. That's what I like YouTube for. I love watching the grind. I love watching people get past this difficulty and him progressively get better. I love that. I love it so much. But I don't like to watch people cheat, dude. And I know that's a harsh word to say, but guys, it is. You're cheating. No way around it, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're changing the rules. If I had 20 strikes in baseball to go up to bat and, and the umpire was giving me 20 strikes... I'm cheating, right? Everybody else has three. You know what I mean? <laughs> the rules are that there's three strikes and you're out. Why does Dan get 20? You know, I, I'm cheating, you know? So, sorry. Sorry, not sorry. It's cheating. I don't like to watch you cheat. That, that's all it is. It's boring. Super boring, dude. I mean, um, I'm going to go watch something I have fun watching. But why would I turn on the television and watch a show that I hate that's not doing something entertaining you, you put on something you want to watch right well YouTube's no different <laughs> so if your channel's doing something that I think's boring I'm not going to put it on 
And hey, I expect the same treatment from you guys. That's fine. You don't like something I'm playing or how I'm playing it or what I'm talking about. Or hey, you want to leave? That's okay. I don't hate you for that. That's fine. Not every day am I going to be playing something entertaining for you. That's fine. That's okay. It's fine to have that opinion. You're 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 uh you're valid to have that opinion. It's all right. But I have that opinion too. You know, sometimes you're doing stuff that's boring. I don't want to watch it. So it's no offense, but I just I don't keep tally on who I hang out with. I just go see what's on the YouTube's when I have a time, when I have time to do it, and I go, "What's on?" And if I see something cool, I click on it. That's it. <laughs> you know, as recently, it's like my retro life, and that's it. But if I see Phil Twerpin streaming, streaming, and he's playing Life Force again, you bet your ass, I'm turning off my retro life and I'm going over there. You know, or if I missed it and I get off of work, I'm putting that fucker on. I'm going to see if he beat it. You know, I'm going to watch it. I watch streams. Absolutely. I love it, dude. I'll be cleaning the house, doing stuff, and I put on your guys' streams all the time. I watched Ron Moore play through Shadowgate. I was watching him play it. It was fun to watch him play. That was after the stream was over. He ended up beating the game. Fun to watch. You know? But that's just my own personal preference. I don't want to piss nobody off. It's not what I'm trying to do, but I'm just trying to be honest with you. But anyways, guys, I'm almost at work. I'm trying not to get run over by a fucking semi. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. That's what's really hood. Yeah!